Well, Jenny, Christmas is just a few days away. Are you all ready? I think I'm finally ready. Same here. I just got my shopping done today. Right. I'm joined with Virginia Swinson of the City of Peterborough's Waste Management Department. And Jenny, in the next few days, there's going to be a lot of garbage and recycling thrown out, isn't there? Yeah, the holidays always brings a lot of extra waste. Um, some of it has to go to the trash, but a good portion of it can actually be recycled. Okay. Now, in front of us here, we have some mm -hmm. examples of some material that we're going to be seeing a lot of uh, yeah. in the next few days. What can't be recycled, what I guess, would be a good area to start with yeah. first. Well, things like these nice shiny bows, so ribbons, ribbons and bows. Those are not a type of material that they can really practically recycle. So any of those uh, decorations, basically, from your, from your gifts. Okay. Um, you do often run into this sort of um, shiny cellophane type paper on gift baskets. That is not, uh, not recyclable. And a lot of your gifts you're going to find coming in these um, blister packs is what they call them. It's mm -hmm. that really hard um, plastic that you almost cut your hand off trying to open. Exactly. That's not a recyclable plastic. Okay. Now a lot of people are going to be giving gifts in gift bags. Now can these be recycled? They can be recycled. First of all, of course, they can be reused, exactly. which is what makes them great. But once they've sort of run their life, then they can go into your blue box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's these type have you know some some of them have a metal or a fabric type handle. Best if that came off, if you okay. remember to. So those, and then the tissue paper that would go inside of them, and just regular wrapping paper is also very recyclable. Okay. Now, what about uh, ribbons and things like this? No, can't do yeah, that. not not the ribbons and bows, or or there's also some wrapping paper that looks similar to these bows, that sort of foil type material, shiny mm -hmm. material, that can't be recycled. Okay, now a lot of people are going to be getting, getting Christmas cards over the next few days. Mm -hmm. What can we do with them after the holidays are over? Again, I've got a, an example here, a front of a card. It's just paper. It can be recycled. The only exception to that is you get the odd card that has a very heavy plastic. Um, coating on it or mm -hmm. a folder and those should not be recycled. Okay. We do have a 24-7 drop-off depot. Mm -hmm. It's located where the recycling plant is at 390 Pido Road. Open day and night. You can go down there with your extra recyclables. It's very well lit, very well signed to tell you exactly where to, where to place them and we encourage people because the collectors are going to be really overwhelmed with, with mm -hmm. the volumes. Exactly. Yeah. Now what about electronics? Those can be recycled and it's free of charge. Mm -hmm. You go down uh, right next door to where that drop-off depot is that I just described. It's on Pido Road. It's actually our household hazardous waste depot. And they're open every Wednesday through Saturday, mm -hmm. 8 till 4, and televisions, computers, um, all sorts of you know handheld devices, anything electronic, they will take and it's all totally free of charge and it all gets recycled. And I almost forgot the most obvious part of Christmas, the Christmas tree. The tree. Once Christmas is done, what can we do with the trees? Take off all the decorations. This is for real trees, obviously, mm -hmm. I'm talking. Take off all the decorations, take it out to the curb, and it will be collected during the month of January. You don't need to call Public Works, and mm -hmm. it won't be necessarily on your regular collection day. But throughout the month of January, they will be collecting all the, the real trees. They get taken, and they're composted. Well, Jenny, I think I have a couple more gifts to wrap. Is there, so, can I get some help with that? Well, I guess I'll help you. I'm kind of tired of it, but I'll help you. All right. <laughs> we'll do we'll use some of this wrapping paper here. All right. All right. Well, thanks for joining me today, Jenny. Thank you. And we'll see you again next week on The Green Update. The Green Update is brought to you by the City of Peterborough Transportation Division. Reduce the impact of your commute by working from home one or two days a week. If you have any questions about today's episode of the Green Update, call Peterborough Green Up at 705-745-3238.